Queen, it's out of love. Uh, well, I've just done a review before and I didn't like it. Um, Harbour Breweries Wave Hunter Hellas. Mm, not special. Wasn't very good. Uh, so I thought maybe I'll do something that's a bit better. I want to review something else and hope it's going to be better. This time around, I've got Badger Breweries Thirsty Ferret. Now, I have done a Badger Brewery beer before. I can't remember what it was, but I know it has a cute animal on the front wearing overalls. And this is kind of more of the same. This is a this is a, a badger who I thought was dressed as Jack Kerouac. I'm one of those like Jack Kerouac loving knobheads. But it says that he's not exactly a burglar. Um, you can tell he's got like, the sort of burglar face mask on. He's got a, a torch and a rope. And I assume that the hat, it's actually not a beret. It's actually just a hat that like burglars wear. So that's who the burglar is. And, and, and also, if you look really close, the, the ferret himself, or herself, has leather black gloves, because, you know, obviously there's not the fingerprints left behind, or paw prints, because it's a ferret. Um, so yeah, this is an amber ale. It's malty and full-bodied, with Moorish hoppy notes. And, obviously, there's the Badger Brewery logo here, established 1777. And there's the Badger Brewery bottle top. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to now read the back of the bottle because there might be a backstory behind why this thirsty ferret is burgling. Okay. Um, keep this beer close to hand, the bottle says. Why did you so? Because I've got it in my hand. So, 10 steps ahead of you guys. Uh, our thirsty ferret, Amber Ale, takes its name from a real ferret with a mischievous reputation. See, we're onto something here. Um, and a taste for full bodied biscuity beer. Little Thief, by Latin name. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the pussy cats that was messaging me. They keep messaging me, asking for sex. I'm not interested, not so nice. I'm tired. Um, but yeah, Little Thief by Latin name and opportunistic by nature, legend has it that he once snuck into the Gribble Inn for a sneaky snip. It's like sneaky sip, <laughs> not a sneaky snip. He didn't get circumcised or anything. Um, now, with crisp hop notes from Celia and Sentinel, Centennial Hops, <laughs> Sentinel Hops. It's a fucking Mike Oldfield song. Uh, um, and a Moorishly malty backbone of ale and crystal malt. It's on our most wanted list. It's on our oh, it's, I'll, I'll rise, you mean like in a criminal sense. Not like this beer is on your most wanted list. I mean, why would a brewer have its own beer on its most, it's on the most wanted list? Surely you've already got it. So, well, whatever. I'm reading too much into this. Um, it's... Characterful brews, colourful tales. The badger is anything but black and white. Yeah. So I mean obviously I'm not gonna judge it on its colour because that would be racist anyway. I won't be doing that. Um it, it's 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 a badger. And there's more to it than its colour. And there's more to anyone than the colour. Remember that. Yeah. Uh so yeah, this is a 4.4%, 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, Pant 1KR with an infinity low. <laughs> oh yeah, it contains malted barley and sulfites. May contain wheat. Okay, good, for, good to know. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get this out the bottle, shall we? Let's get our badger out the bottle. Our thirsty ferret out the bottle. And then we, the review can begin. And hopefully it'll be better than that fucking Harbour Hellas, which £1.50 I paid for a big bottle. And I still think I paid £1.50 too much. It was not good. So out of 10 I gave it. So yeah, here we go. Let's... Ding, 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 I've got a bit overboard with the pour that I have. But it is most definitely an amber ale. 
Um, in fact, the first ever beer I reviewed on this channel was an Amber Ale. And it was very cheap, it was Doomba. I don't know how much this cost, I think it was at least two quid. So it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't really that cheap neither. So yeah, um, it's, uh, obviously it's an amber colour, and I've always loved the amber colour. You know, like that sort of amber mineral. I, I, I don't know, there's something about it, I really like it, just, just the way it looks, you know. If I could have like a, a thing made out of amber, just like pure amber, I don't even know what it is. It, I'd like that. You know, I, I like the colour. And there's one of the, uh, the, 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 like, like the jade statues. I like them as well because that, that colour is nice, that's sort of like really nice green. Um, yeah, that, that's a nice colour as well. So yeah, I don't know much about minerals though. The only, the only minerals I know is like Ted's and like Vegas. It's a mineral, isn't it? I'm sure of it. So yeah, there you go, three finger Ted's, nice and creamy. It's it's hell as well, I really so. I expect this to be a bit shit the head to be honest. And just be dissipates after about 30 seconds and hasn't it's, it's hell as well. So that's obviously. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, a peppery malty. Yeah. Yeah, peppery and malty. With a sort of little tiny hint of honey and a bit of biscuits as well, you know the usual chocolate, no not the chocolate zesters, not just the plain digesters, you know that kind of biscuit, you know. I've tried thinking of other biscuits like maybe rich tea or malted milk, but it's not like either of them, it's more, it's more plain digestive. So yeah, we know what it looks like, we know what it smells like, and it carbonates very well, it's it's all bubbling and popping up like that. I, I like the look of this. I like the smell of it. But what about the taste? Will it be thirsty ferret or will it be um, fucking shit? There's only one way to find out. Bottoms up and up your bottoms. Here we go. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm about way worse than this. Um, yeah, this, is, this is an improvement to the last one, I must admit. Uh, not that you could really not have an improvement to the last one. It's, it's, it's like, you know, the punch in the face is better than several kicks in the bollocks, so, you know, an improvement, you know. But yeah, um, this is, it's, it's alright, it's... It's not brilliant, but it's terrible either, you know. Yeah. The everything I mentioned about the smell, that it was quite hoppy and malty. Um, same. A bit biscuity, same. Uh, yeah, and that sort of digestive taste in my mouth. But the aftertaste is hoppy as well, to the point where it's a bit too hoppy, to the point where it's just like, you know, kind of overwhelms it a bit and you can like get that sort of air on your tongue, you know. It's like an unnecessary bitter taste, but you don't really need. Uh, if there was a way to get rid of that, this, this would be a lot better. But it is, it's, it's alright, you know. Um, I think I'd give it a 7, you know, it's, it's okay, you know. It's, um, Too bad. I could, I could, you know, would I ever like drink this again? Um, it's, it's, if, if, if I wanted an amber ale, 
and like there was no doom by the way I would, but this was I'd probably try I really would um, it, it's not something I'd climb over everything else to get to but it's not something I'd really turn up my nose at neither because it's not that bad it's, it's not bad at all really it's it's, it's alright um, yeah I'd, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10 so. yeah. that's a first go I mean it's 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 literally a ferret dressed as a burglar as well. That's the mascot. I can't give that a bad score no matter what. Even this could be absolute shit. I'd still give it a good score just because of that. You know, I'm a, I'm a I'm an ethical, family friendly person. Just <coughs> um, so yeah, and it's made in the Hall and Woodhouse Limited Blandford Brewery in Dorset, DT eleven nine LS. Uh yeah. So but but if you want to make an inquiry within the European Union you've got to contact UKBAB Vibble Bowser four hundred seven four eight nine five Orbi Sweden. So yeah, I don't know if you if you're if you're watching this video in like I don't know um Sweden <laughs> and you wanna like you know find out more about this beer. Nah, you gotta go there, haven't you? Yeah. So yeah, but, yeah. You Swedes, you just know what to do if you want to find out about this beer. Yeah, you go on in there and you just message that place and stop rigging your division. Yeah, don't think I'm not gonna mention that again, because I will. <coughs> yeah, the direct your division's in May, so don't don't think you're safe. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ramp it up. It's gonna start trending again on these videos. No, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed this, but not like this one. It's uh, been okay. Um, obviously, I've got more to come. But in the meantime, I'll be uh, I'll be signing out. Take care, everyone.